is up guys, 806 Things here, welcome to another video, and as you can tell by this title, the fishing stories are back, now I'm going to name them something definitely different, because I don't know, I named them just cringy at the time, I'm just going to say like, fishing story of the week or something, I don't know, but I'm going to name it something, if you guys think of a different name that I should name these stories or something, uh, go ahead uh, and put that in the comments, but as I was, you know, scrolling, you know, through YouTube, I got curious, and I was like, I haven't checked my subscribers in a while, so I checked, and then I'm up to 81, I believe, 81 subscribers, and that's a big accomplishment for me, uh, and I mean, it's not really a big deal, but for me, I, when I first started, I didn't think by a year I'd have this much subscribers, once again, it's not a lot, but still, I'm, I'm growing decently, I guess, I don't know, but um, it shows me that uh, a lot of you guys are liking it and that uh, y'all guys are liking what I'm doing so I'm gonna keep doing uh, more of it and uh, let me know what you want to uh, what, what you want to see on this channel whether it could be like fishing challenges or uh, catching cook challenges or something I can go catch like a specific type of fish if they have it in my location and if it's a little bit easy if it's challenging to target I mean I definitely would go out there you know I, I always love a little bit of a good challenge you know and uh, yeah just let me know what you want to see on this channel but let's get right into the video all right guys so as you can tell by this video this is the bass that got me into bass fishing now i have caught bass before this fish but before this fish like before this fish like they weren't really big so um i'm a, i actually have the picture because uh you know i found it on my dad's old phone so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you all the picture right about now Boom, that was the picture. Now, of course, um, that's me. Uh, around this time, yeah, I had short hair. Now, I have I have long hair. And some of y'all commented, cut your hair. Well, you know, the reason why I don't cut my hair, or yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to probably get it like trimmed, get a little shorter, but I'm definitely going to leave it long. I, didn't, I never liked my short hair, and, you know, I just recently decided to grow it out. But, you know, it is my hair, so I can do whatever I want with my hair. So if y'all don't like it, well, I mean, not to sound rude or anything, but too bad. It's my hair. I can do whatever I want with it. Because I want to say this was 2008, 2010, maybe even, I think I was younger than that. I think it was, shoot, I don't even remember when this was, to be honest with you. But I'm. it was definitely in between 2008 and 2011. I still have that shirt. I, I seen it the other day in one of my drawers put up. And uh, so, yeah. So, the one in the white shirt, you've seen him on this channel before. That's Alorfo. The one, uh, the girl in the blue shirt, that's his sister. The smaller uh, girl is my sister. So, you know, at the time, uh, we went, we all went out to fish and stuff. And uh, that was actually the first time I ever fished that pond. And uh, at the time, I played baseball our coach he was like yeah you know there's there's a there's a pond behind where we play and stuff and we're like for real and he's like yeah and because we always wondered why people would go back there because he couldn't really see the lake or the pond from like the baseball field and stuff like that i asked him what there was and then he's like there's catfish i think there's a little bit of carp bluegill and crappie and even bass and i was like oh i definitely got to try it i definitely got to catch you know one of my biggest bass like one of my biggest bass ever so one day uh, we went out there. We we basically tried a little bit of everything, you know. We tried worms, like uh, night crawlers. We tried uh, like catfish bait for some catfish. We tried corn, and uh, we weren't really getting much luck. And you know, I think we caught a few bluegill here here and there. We didn't. I mean, we caught like one little bass. It was like this big, not a very big one. And uh, so at this time, I was still using push buttons. And so I wasn't that experienced. Um, you know, the bite was slow, and we weren't catching anything after a while. And my dad's like, yo, we're going to leave here pretty soon in the next 20 minutes or so. So I was like, man, I haven't caught a really big bass. I need to catch one. I don't know when I'll get the next opportunity to, because at the time, we didn't always go out fishing. And so, like, it'd be a little bit um, till the next day, like, the next time I go out fishing. So I was like, I really need to, I really need to do something. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to do something. We had this uh, pack of crawls. They're like this this big of a, a pack. I don't know if we have those anymore or not. I, I might have one somewhere around. 
I might see if I can go look for it real quick. We do not have like one. I I knew I, I knew I used to have one of those types of like crawls that were in that package. It wasn't the exact one or the exact color that I used, but it would have been nice to you know show you. I don't know if I find it later today. I'll definitely put it. If not, or uh, put it. I'll show you guys. If not, then up here will be the picture of the crawl, like the little crawl bait of like you know the type of it and the exact color if I can find it and stuff. So boom, right there. Anyways. So, I look at Adolfo and I go, I look at him and I go, yo, you know what time it is? And he goes, no, and I go, it's Bass Pro time. This, that's the exact words I said, I was like, it's Bass Pro time. So I was like, you know, the pros use these Texas rigs, these little craws, why not give it a try? Maybe I will land one, I don't know, maybe I won't. So I, I said, it's Bass Pro time. And I looked at him and he just looks at me, he's like, oh yeah. So, <laughs> I put a little Texas rig weight on there, you know, I put it on. And I put the little EWG hook. And at the time, I did like an overhand knot. Like one of the worst knots you could ever use for fishing. And uh, it was the weakest knot ever. So I don't know what I was thinking back then. I didn't know really any knots to, you know, like tie or anything. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to do this knot. Anyway, so I put it on. I was using a Zebco. And at the, I don't remember the exact model, but I know that I, I'm, I, they still have them out there. They still have the type of reel out there, but the rod they do not have out there anymore um it was the uh, the reel that had gold on the front and like gray in the back and that's the reel i had it had 15 pound uh mono on it and i still use 15 pound mono for like texas rigs and stuff but at the time i used like like 15 pound 20 pound for like every type of fishing i didn't know what type of line to use you know i didn't i didn't really know much about fishing at the time so where i tossed it out was this kind of like uh it was probably maybe 10 feet across a little creek looking thing and there was a smaller pond over here which we were fishing and there's a bigger pond over here which like, like a, I guess lake you could say no it's eh, basically a pond there's a bigger pond over here so you know connecting those two ponds was that uh, you know little creek thing so that's where I decided to fish so what I did was I, I threw the craw in there and there was reeds across from me there's like cattails or something whatever you call them and I threw it in there, and you know, I was working it back, and then I felt something heavy. So when I did, I set the hook. I set the hook on that fish, and you know, I was reeling it in, and my jar was like peeling, like you could just, you know, the sound of a little Zebco when you're reeling in like a fish and, the, you know, the drag. And um, so I was like, I got one, I got one. First cast and everything, it was crazy. Because, you know, at the time, it was the hardest fighting bass I've ever had on the end of my line. So I was like, this is a big one. And at the time, to me, it was like a five-pound bass. I was trying to boat flip it in, I guess. I don't know what I was doing. I was like, I guess I was trying to boat flip it. And when I did, the hook came off. The knot was weak, and it came off, and the fish fell on the floor hard. And, oh, my God, I felt so bad for it. And I guess it was in shock or something because it's just sitting there. And then I quickly grabbed it. And, you know, after a while, yeah, it was, it was, it was, a, it was still pretty... Like, we, we, we did release that fish, and, you know, it still swam back perfectly fine, but, uh, you know, that was a bass that got me into bass fishing, and uh, I'll never forget that day, and ever since that day, I've always been addicted to bass fishing. I've always been, always, always been wanting to bass fish, and the thing that sucks about my area is the bass fishing is not really that great around here, and, you know, uh, I have to go either out of town or you know, some private ponds. I only know one private pond we can go. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys like these stories. Let me know what I should do my next story. I got tons of stories to share with you guys. Let me know what other story you want to see where they could be breaking off my PB that still would have been my PB to this day. Uh, whether it be catching my PB, uh, or whether, you know, it could be the time when catfish, uh, you know, drag my rod into the water. If you want to see one of those stories, let me know in the comments below which one you want to see. And uh, let me know if you're liking these videos. Uh, I know I'm liking them. I don't know why I stopped doing them. I really had no reason. But let me know if you're liking these videos. Let me know what else kind of fishing challenges you want to see on this channel. If you're new, subscribe. Leave a like on this video. Share this video and help me grow in my channel. Um, I have 81 subscribers, which is a really good accomplishment for me right now. So I couldn't thank y'all enough. Y'all really liking what I'm doing, so I'm going to keep doing 
more of it. Uh, all y'all guys have to uh, tell me is what y'all guys want to see on this channel. Because I know a certain amount of you guys want to see a specific type of like fishing videos. So let me know what you guys want to see. Once again, this is Anderson Sanders, and we'll see you on the next one. Tight lines, guys.